here it's your boy dubs daily super excited for today's video because now my car is gonna look a little bit better still look like shit but just a little bit better first time in dubs history i'm finally gonna be driving on some brand new tires like, like brand new like i've never experienced what it feels like to drive on brand new tires on my personal vehicle like working at a dealership i've you know installed brand new tires and then i felt how grippy them shits were like no matter the car was they're grippy as shit but anyways brand new tires 245 40 17 you know a little wide but not nothing too crazy uh the brand it's it's honestly it's some cheap chinese brand 3a i've never heard of it i asked a couple people they never heard of it but you know what they're brand new it's better than the piece of shit that i got in my car right now like like look at honestly the rears don't look too bad but like this is gross speaking of these wheels i'm never going white again unless it's a show car because i can't maintain the shit i'm gonna be honest i can't i can't look at that now these rims only look like this because i have no um I have no dust shield behind the rotors, so you know there's a lot of brake dust going onto the rims and yada yada yada. It's probably gonna happen on the new rims that I'm gonna install, but it is what it is. You know, I'll, I'll have more motivation to clean them. Not with these white rims. I nah. As far as the rims go, I've given a quick reveal on Instagram a couple weeks. Yo, come on, bro. A couple weeks ago, people saw what rims I got, but now I'm gonna showcase them for you guys on YouTube for those who haven't seen it. Once I'm able to open my bag properly oh yeah oh yeah look at them shits man xxr 962s are 17 by 9 with a plus i think it's 35 or 38 offset i, I cannot remember the exact ox uh, bleh, offset numbers but yeah they're in pretty good condition got them used for a super steel price with tires but the tires were trash so you know hence why i had to get new tires um yeah they don't look too bad uh the outer lip was a little bit worse i kind of you know sanded it down a bit to try and smoothen it out and get rid of a lot of the dirt that was there prior I'm, they're gonna have to be polished but as far as the spokes i'm gonna leave it the gun middle grade is currently just for now maybe i'll switch it up in the future maybe not but we're gonna get these slapped on today and also another part to this video let's just go inside now I don't think I have to talk about this much, man. We're going lower, baby. We're going lower. It's not no crazy coal overs. You know, these are cheap. Rev 9. And I got them for even cheaper than they are already priced at. Like, like super cheap. So, you know, took them apart and coated them in anti-C so that the collars can actually thread up and down and all that shit. Put them back together. Everything's good and ready to go. So, yeah, we're going lower. I know you guys see the rotors right there and that caliper right there. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Damping adjustments.
ran out of storage so i had to stop the video but the old ones are out out of the fronts at least coilovers are in and if you want me to give you a quick run through auto there's multiple videos um brake line there's a 12 mil um wheel speed sensor bracket there's a 10 and then here two 19s right here also a 19 for the tie rods and then three 14s up top and literally you'll have it out just like that and stupid simple uh the adjusting part i can't tamper with it yet until my wheels are on and then i can figure out exactly how i want it to fit so next is going to be the rears and then slap on i don't even know where the wheels are but yeah but we'll get those on after in honestly not bad of a job like i've pulled the suspension before and that was on my oem struts to um install lowering springs and all that but it's not as bad as i remember to be honest honestly mainly because i did it on my driveway at first and then doing it on a hoist is a lot easier but fronts are in there you go my manager the best manager ever now is starting to put these tires on oh my god what I didn't think to do was do a test fit with one of the rims and see how it fits. And holy shit, you know what? Give me one second, I'll, I'll show you guys. Did not think to check that first, but look at the clearance. This is what the rim's sitting flush on the hub. Sitting flush on the hub. Look at the clearance, bro. Yeah, honestly, I'm, I'm gonna need spacers for the future, unfortunately. I don't wanna run spacers, but I'm gonna have to. Shout out Navdo, best manager ever, man. There you go, you wanted your shout out on YouTube. You got it. <laughs> oh, and they're both saying high as shit. I'm sweating crazy. I don't know if you guys can see it, but. Whew. All right, so here's the final verdict. Let me just point out real quick. I love these rims. I love them. They need a cleaning and touching up, but beyond that, I love these rims. Also, another thing, the center caps on the rims, uh, those are on standby because I grinded them down. They were in shit condition and I wanted to paint over them, but I didn't get it done in time before slapping these on. So those are on standby. I'll slap those on eventually, or not eventually, real soon, to be honest, real soon. But yeah, rims look nice. Perfect tire size, 245, 40, 17s. Beefy and slightly low profile so you know is this it's the perfect size perfect size but yeah it looks it looks beautiful the rears definitely look a lot better than the fronts especially this side this side right here look at that mm. Mm. yeah the fronts i definitely need to go lower on so here's a point out the negatives so fronts definitely need to go lower i'll touch that up real soon second thing my alignment is stupid off i know i need to get that done but in the process of taking out uh the passenger side front strut i had to replace the tie rod thankfully i had tie rods on standby from when i did my control arms and then other things that i put on instagram uh, i had a uh, had a tie rod on standby changed the outer tie rod because the threads got stripped on it so thankfully i had to do that but an alignment is absolutely needed because Look at here. You know what? You probably be see better from the back. The toe is crazy. That is super excessive. And I definitely know I need to adjust the camera too. But if that's not a giveaway, look at that shit. Look at that. That is that is horrible. I'm parked straight. That's horrible. It's not as bad on that side because I didn't have to f with the tie rod, like the, the toe. But this, this side is, is messed up. So... That's the second thing. I definitely need an alignment ASAP. And my third thing, when I was driving, crazy rattling coming from the rears. Crazy. The main reason I even wanted to change my suspension system is because I had a crazy rattle from the from the strut mount on the passenger front. And now crazy rattling from here. The mounts themselves are good, but my main issue now, look at that gap right there. Every little dip I go into or every bump I go over, the mount 
slides up hits the nut and then that creates that knocking sound on both sides so i already have a fix that i'm gonna do it for that it's it's a little ghetto but it'll work for the time being until i find a real solution but those are my only three main negatives right now beyond that i'm loving how this looks man uh, i can't wait to get the the whole exterior taken care of i can't i can't look at my car like this anymore but you guys are seeing the progress that's the video for today you know although i ain't satisfied with how the front looks at least now it's adjustable and i'm not stuck with you no know, lowering springs and nothing being able to be adjusted so all right hope you guys enjoyed the video you guys stay tuned like comment subscribe share you guys already know the vibes man follow me on up G. that's crazy follow me on ig dubs daily underscore underscore all right show some love up there get my followers up get, get them subscribers up and stay tuned because this year this year i got a lot of shit planned and if it doesn't happen this year next year is going to be even crazier but let's focus on this year for now all right stay tuned i'm out Thank you.